Hello YouTube, welcome to another video tutorial on USB Linux programming. In this video we're going to talk about the basic file arrangement to write a driver that communicates with a device. We'll start off with the USB driver itself. It's actually called, a, it's a structure and its name is USB driver. And this is the basic definition of the USB driver. It's going to have a data type called name and that's going to be responsible for naming this driver as a whole. Next, we're going to talk about the ID table. The ID table is used to match this driver with any device that is attached to the USB bus. This is how the kernel knows how to, this is how the kernel knows which driver to call to handle a particular device when it's plugged into the computer. And this is of type USB device ID. So let's go ahead and de declare this variable right here. So what we, so what we have here is basically a way for the kernel to match any currently attached device against all the available drivers to find the right driver to call to use that driver to manage that newly installed and attached device. So that may be rather confusing. So if we go over to the console, uh, we can type again ls usb. What this does is list all the available drivers currently attached to your system and like I mentioned earlier in the video I'm going to be writing a device driver for a USB pen drive so currently I don't have the pen drive attached to my computer at this time I'm going to insert the USB pen drive to my computer and then run the command again and I find that the pen drive is installed at this point so I need to be able to, whenever my pen drive is attached to the computer, I need to have the kernel call upon my particular driver to manage this device. So what I'm going to need is this USB device ID right here to control this pen drive. So I'm going to copy these numbers and use a macro. And its definition is as follows. Here, this is going to represent the vendor ID, and this represents the product ID. Also, if you wanted to get more specific information about a particular device, you can use lsusb-v, and this will spit out a whole slew of information from endpoint addresses to tell you exactly which one, which of these two numbers is a vendor ID, and which one is a product ID. The vendor ID is the 0781 and the product ID is 5406 and that's what we enter over at USB device macro and this whole statement is initializing an array of pen drives. You can have more than one and you can say USB device and then the number vendor and then product if you want your particular driver to support more than one device. At this time, we're only supporting one, which is the pen drive that I have just now ins inserted to my computer. Okay, so continuing on, now we talked about the ID table. Let's go ahead and talk about the probe function. And specifically, we're gonna implement its definition up here. The probe function of your driver is called whenever a device is plugged into your computer. However, your probe function will not be called if another driver currently owns that particular device. So that means if another driver is currently installed and, and is indicating to the kernel that it is responsible for managing the particular device that's plugged into the computer, your probe function will not get called. And as a result, if you want your device, if you want your device driver to manage that device, instead, you'll have to unload that other driver and install yours in its place. But let's go ahead and define the pro function. Okay, so this is the pro function. It takes a structure of type USB interface, and an interface uh, from the vi previous video um, is meant to represent a logical device, such as a speaker, USB camera and a whole number of other things. And the USB ID is the same as the structure defined here. So what's going on is that the device is plugged into the computer and the computer or the kernel calls your particular pro function and wants to see if this particular driver is willing to handle this device with the ID supplied here. At which point the pro function initializes local 
information, structures, memory, and then return zero, indicating that it's willing to manage it. But like I just said, the pro function will not get called if another driver already is taking claim to the device. Next, we have the disconnect function. The disconnect function functions to clean up memory and is called upon whenever the device is removed from the system. And its definition is going to be implemented here. So the, so the pen disconnect function is called whenever the pen is removed and we don't need to return any values. And that's the definition of the USB driver. Now that we have our driver properly filled out, we just now have to register this pen drive to the USB core. It's much like registering a character device. However, the only difference is we're registering with the USB core. For an initialization end, all we're going to do is display some information to ourselves for debugging purposes, and as well as to register this pen drive to the USB core. And then over in the exit function, we're going to de we're going to deregister our pen drive. And again, we just display some simple information to the current, to the log file, and we deregister the USB driver that we previously registered over here, and then we return, and that's going to be it. And then we have our make file. Uh, so for the make file, it's going to present as this. Simply, you have the module that you want to create, and then the directory to the source file of the kernel. In this case, I'm only going to compile this module against my actively running kernel at this time. The path to the directory, and then we simply just create the module, and here we clean up the module directory. Okay, let's jump over to the command line now. We're going to say clear, and then sudo make. Okay, so it seems like everything compiled successfully, and as indicated here, this is the module that we want to insert, and we say sudo insert mod stick driver .kl. Everything is now inserted, so we do d message, and as you can see here, my the driver is inserted into the kernel. However, the problem now is that our pro function is not getting called, and just to ensure, I'm going to unplug my USB pen drive. So the pen drive is now disconnected. I plug it back in, but yet my pro function is still not getting called. So what I need to do now is say sudo remove mod USB storage. USB storage is a driver. It's a module driver that manages USB pen drives and storage devices. So at this time, I'm going to go ahead and remove it so that my driver will be able to handle the pen drive that I stick into my computer. So I'm going to go ahead and remove it. It says that it's in use and so what that means is I basically just need to remove my pen drive. So I now remove my pen drive and I'm going to type the command again, remove mod USB. At this point I'm going to go ahead and remove my module and reinsert it again. sudo remove mod and then reinsert the module So this is the statement when the module is inserted. I'm going to plug my pen drive in now and then I'm going to do D message. And as you can see, this was when the module was inserted and then I inserted the USB stick. And at this point, it's now my module. My driver is now in charge of managing the pen drive attached to the computer. Okay, well that's going to do it for this tutorial. Join me next time and we'll actually write information to the USB pen drive as well as read information back from the pen drive. As always, please remember to subscribe and rate this video. Thank you.